What's up guys, it's Amanda, and today I have for you the Encase Icon. Now there's two versions of this bag. There's the full size and the slim, and this is the full size. And the guys at Encase were nice enough to send this out for me to review. So if you're looking for a new bag for college or maybe high school, this definitely will hold all of your gear and keeps it really neat and organized. And it's a really comfortable and good looking bag as well. And it's really not that big of a bag, which surprised me for all the pockets and all the space and all the things you can accommodate. This is an excellent bag. They truly have designed this where it's well built and has pockets everywhere and it even has a nice soft liner to protect your gadgets. If you guys want to check this out, I'll have a link down below where you guys can save some money. So let's just jump right inside. So in the first pocket here on the side, I have two very large phones. This is the Note 4 and, or actually it's Note 4 Edge and the iPhone 6 Plus and they both fit in this pocket which this does have a ring case, slim case and this one has the Samsung flip case but both of these are large phones and they fit in there just fine. And on the opposite side, you'll notice that this pocket has a green liner, which makes it definitely stand out. And we'll talk about why in just a moment. But inside this, I have a power bank by So Love. This is the baby brother or sister, whichever way you want to look at it, as the 20,000 milliamps, sorry, that I shared in my summer tech video. And this has two USB ports just the same. And it's very slim and compact, has this awesome case, and I just love these things. So the reason that this has this green pocket is to let you know that this has an access port. So if you have a power bank, you can charge your phone while you're using it while walking, or you can have your phone in there with headphones running out. Really awesome feature. So at first, when you look at the front, I have my zipper tucked away so people can't just access this pocket without me realizing. If you have this little flap sticking out, they realize it's a pocket there, but I like having that kind of hidden there. And inside here, I have an iPhone 6. And no, I don't carry this many phones normally with me, but I just want to show you again what all it can hold. And this has a case on it called Luxbox. And it's by a company called WTF Factory. And it's not what you're thinking. It's actually Wonderful Things Factory. Anyways, this case is a really awesome case. It's, it looks like it's metal, although it's not. And it has this wool on the back. And it's just a really awesome looking case. Very stylish and kind of a minimalistic, awesome design. And then just beside that in the other pocket, I have a gold Galaxy S6 Edge. And this has a case by Oblique. It's a really cool case, pretty cheap case in fact, and it's got this rubberized texture. You can kind of see some of the fingerprints and oils on there, but it's a two-piece case and it allows you to change these uh, bumpers on the outside and pretty cool. So looking inside here, you'll see the two phones that I pulled out were in individual pockets and then the rest of this is just open. And inside here I have a little case that I bought my own from Encase and it has three micro chargers in it. Um, it has the mini USB for like a GoPro, your micro USB for your phones, and then the old school Apple ones for some of you who have the older iPods. And this thing's only five bucks. And I threw a couple extra things in here. I have my iPod shuffle, I think it's the shuffle charger in here, as well as a little bit longer micro USB. And it just keeps them all together. And again, for only five bucks, you can't go wrong. So moving back, we will unzip this next compartment. And this thing has really sturdy, really easy to unzip zippers. But inside here, the first thing you're gonna see, my keys are kind of dangling, so we'll get those out of the way. And I have these on a carabiner clip, but it has a built-in quick release as well as a little clip here. But I find it much easier just to quickly remove the carabiner clip that I have myself. It takes me a little bit to kind of get a grip on this and pull it apart, but it is there for those who need it. So on here, besides the just generic small carabiner clip, I also have the Night Eyes Doohickey. It's kind of an EDC everyday carry multi-tool. It has a bottle opener. It'll open up a flathead screw. It has a not sharp, but a tape cutter to open up like your packages or boxes. It has a really small three different sizes of hex um, to open up a bolt, as well as there's measurement increments on each side. Not sure why you'd want to measure something that tiny, but it's there if you need it. And it also has the built-in carabiner clip as well. So it's pretty cool just to have and throw on your keys just in case, because you never know. I mostly bought it for the bottle opener. And then in the next compartment up on top here, it's just an open, kind of loose, small pocket. But I have my Blue Bud X. These are the original first ones. Everybody's got the new ones now, but I don't plan on upgrading. But these are awesome Bluetooth headphones, especially if you work out. But they're really simple to carry with this carrying case and easy to pack and perfect for on the go. So the next item you guys may have seen in one of my previous videos, this is the Nomad Apple Watch Pod. And this is excellent for anybody that you know has an Apple Watch. It charges your Apple Watch with your existing cord 
four times. So if you are on the go, this is definitely a must have in my opinion. And then I have another, this is just the Juice Pack Duo by Mophie. Sometimes if the kids are in the very back of the car, they can't reach the front or the cigarette lighter. So it's nice to always have an extra one. And then here we have just some pencil or pen holders. I just have an ink pen in there. And then down here I have the Cocoon Gridit. This is a case for the iPad mini, which they have many different cases in different sizes. It's a great neoprene case and an awesome way to organize all your little things. So inside here I have a Nexus 7, but technically it's made for the iPad mini, but it fits either one, although it doesn't accommodate for a very large case if you have one on your iPad mini. And in here it holds all your items securely. I have the Apple AirPods, I have a micro SD card along with the adapter just to make it the full size SD. And then I have the Logitech, I don't remember the name of this mouse, um, it's the Ultra Thin or something like that mouse, but I'll have all of this again linked down below. And I should have did this while this grid it was completely full, but it holds all of your items really securely. And you can even buy these without the case, you can just buy a little insert that throw in your bag or your purse, and it keeps all your items really organized. So moving along, I have a thumb drive here, just a generic one my husband got from work, as well as a USB SD reader. And the reason I carry both of these items is for my next item, which is only $20, and it's a portable media streamer, and I'll also turn in your wired ethernet internet connection to a wireless one. You do have to have this thing powered from either a wall outlet, cigarette lighter, or a external battery, but this thing is amazing for 16 bucks. I have, I mean, I paid 16 when it was on sale, but it's actually 20. But this thing is tiny, it's super lightweight, and you can, I think it'll hold up to six terabytes. It doesn't hold it, but it'll read up to six terabytes, terabytes and stream it to your phone. And then here I have just a uh, HDMI to mini display port so that if I wanna use somebody's TV or laptop, or I mean <laughs> display to connect to my laptop. And then here at the bottom, there are two Velcros, so kind of more secure pockets. And inside here, I have a Lassie 2 terabyte. Uh, this is the rugged, this isn't the full size one, this is the smaller size. I can't remember the technical name, but it's two terabytes and it's a rugged hard drive and extremely awesome for editing on the go or any kind of media that you wanna have on there. And in the pocket next to that, here is the cord and here is the item itself. This is the power add. It's a six USB power charger and I I think it's 50 watts, but again, I'll have links for them down below. And I really like the red and black look. And if you're like me and you have a bunch of gadgets, you need a bunch of chargers. So this makes it real easy to take one outlet and turn it into six. And then I have the quirky power curl. And this takes your extremely long MacBook charger and rolls it all up in this convenient little package. Perfect for taking this thing on the go. And then up here on top, there's maybe a three, four inch zipper. And this is a soft lined, fur lined, I don't know what to call it, fur lined pocket that um, is made for like your sunglasses or phone. And I've actually lost my case to my Ray-Bans. These are the Jackie O polarized and I don't have to worry about them getting scratched up. And I even threw my Apple Watch in here, but I did put it in a case, just or a bag rather, just so that they didn't scratch on each other. And then again, we have another full zipper here. And here in a little while, you'll see why I keep saying that, because there are a few not full zippers. And inside here, I have my Logitech K811. It's the perfect travel keyboard, because it'll hook up to your iPhone, iPad, and your computer, all three, and you can switch back and forth easy. And then I have the LG G4 with a black and gold caseology case that I've won from several guys on YouTube. Thanks again, guys. And then I have this zippered travel pouch by a company called Go Travel, I believe. And I found them on Amazon, but I'd actually picked this up at TJ Maxx. But to speed this along, it has two see-through pockets so you can kind of see what's inside. And inside here I have a couple wall outlets as well as some cleaning cloths. And then inside this little pouch here, it doesn't come with it, but this is the Creative, I believe it's E1 Sound Blaster. It's a portable amp. It's not the most expensive, it's under $50. It clips on and it also turns something like, say your M50Xs into a portable headset so you can make phone calls because it does have a built-in microphone. And then in this pouch, I just have the cables for my headphones just to keep them from being as cluttered and messy. And next is a square jellyfish metal tripod mount and this will mount your tablet to a tripod and then I have an adapter on here so that I can mount it on top of my Canon camera and I use this as an seven as a seven inch external monitor and then the last thing on this side is just the PayPal card reader so if I sell something on the go it goes directly in my PayPal account 
So flipping it over to the other side, the first thing you'll see here is some foam cleaner. It is disinfectant cleaner for your gadgets. So if you are letting somebody else use your phone or just maybe you've touched some questionable things, it comes with this little cleaning cloth and it will disinfect your device. And then here's just a larger microfiber cleaning cloth that I just have and then the Joby Gorilla Pod. I don't remember which one this is, but then I have an attachment here so that if I need to shoot any video or anything, I can attach a phone with it. And this is basically the smaller version of the Square Jellyfish one that's for tablets just for your phones. And then the same pocket that I had my keyboard in, believe it or not, I actually had my headphones stuck inside as well. And now my bag's getting kind of empty and it won't stay up, so I'll just go ahead and let that thing fall over. But inside this just generic velvet bag, I have my III TMA2s, and I've done a video on these, and these are fantastic headphones, at least the sound and build and look of the model I have. Now these are customizable, so maybe the ones you get have a different sound profile, but these are absolutely amazing to me. And just inside here, there's a little zipper pocket, which I don't have anything in. And then on top of that, you will see something that I featured in another video. This is also by the company Nomad. And this is a carabiner clip that's steel reinforced. And it has, depending on which model you get, it has either a micro USB, a mini USB, or a lightning adapter. And this is why I didn't buy the package of the in-case one with the lightning adapter. It's too convenient to have this here. And now on this side, this is just a half pocket, and this is your tablet pocket. Now this is an iPad mini, but I think this may be large enough to hold maybe like an iPad, or I mean not an iPad Air, but a MacBook Air. I haven't verified that, but it's a really large pocket. And then on the opposite side, there is a partial opening pocket as well, and that's your padded laptop compartment. Now it has a fur lining in there, and this will hold up to a 15 inch MacBook. And I don't have a case or anything on it, but it fits in there just fine. So we finally made it to the bottom and you can see this thing holds an astonishing amount of items and it keeps it all very secure as well as being neatly organized. Again, if you guys wanna check any of these products down as well as the bag, I'll have a coupon for it down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video.